Hey everyone, Rogue Guild here, and welcome back to another Division video. I am so glad to be back, guys. Thank you all so much for bearing with me as I took about a, what is this, like a 10-day break. And, you know, recently I've my uploads have been quite a bit slower. Uh, there was just a lot of real-life stuff going on. But, thankfully, finally, this term of school is done, and I can, uh, you know, officially say and confidently and proudly say that I can return with a lot more... Uh, time to the channel, so I plan on doing a lot more regular uploads. We have a lot of exciting stuff coming up and going on for the division in general and gaming in general. So uh, thank you all so much for sticking with me. I hope that you are excited that I am back because I'm very excited to be back and making more videos. So be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's dive in because we've got some division stuff to talk about that really cropped up in the uh, 10 days that I've been gone here uh, with the E3 and Ubisoft Forward approaching quickly this coming weekend. We got some stuff to get through, so let's hop to it, shall we? And speaking of E3, first thing that came out a few days ago was that the Division's Twitter account officially posted that apparently there will not be any Division news at E3. But let's not be so so quick to jump the gun here. Let's let's dive into what it said officially. Uh, so they made a tweet. I'll put it up on screen for you guys to see. And it said a message from the Division teams, which is pretty cool that they're now uh, calling it that because we have multiple studios working on multiple Division titles. Agents, we will not be at Ubisoft Forward this year, but we invite you to all tune in alongside with us to hear the exciting announcements across other Ubisoft titles. The Division teams are hard at work. New content for The Division 2 is on track for the end of the year. That's pretty important. While Heartland will have additional tests available for players interested in signing up. We look forward to sharing more when we can. Thank you, Tom Clancy's The Division teams. And then it shows the logos for The Division 2 and The Division Heartland. All right. So that's that's something. All right, I met my my most recent video was a prediction video where I talked about what I thought would be on display for the division at E3 and I said in there that I thought Heartland and the Division 2 would both be there. So clearly that is not apparently going to be the case. All right, I don't think they're going to pull any surprises on us. I don't think those two titles are going to be there like they said. Um, but that being said, we also have the news about uh Battle Cat which came out the other day, and we'll come back, we'll, we'll dive more into that later, but I just want to mention that here, that I think it's not impossible that something Division-related isn't still going to be at E3, all right? But in general, uh, what do I think about this? I, you know, obviously it's disappointing. I, I want to get that across very first before I say anything else, that obviously I would have liked to see these things there. But at the end of the day, if Massive and Yannick and them there, and if Terry and everyone at Red Storm aren't ready to show us stuff, if they're not confident that they need, you know, they need more time to work on this stuff, that's okay. You know, I'm not going to get mad about that because that's just... That just goes against what everyone wants, right? Everyone wants something, to, a, a product for these games to come out that's finished, that's fun and exciting. If they feel like that can't happen yet, or they can't show us something that's going to be a a full representation of the final product, then don't put it out yet. That's about as simple as it gets. And so that's my stance on that. But what I wanted to, to address here really was that there's been a sentiment that I've seen going on ever since this came out that, uh, that, oh, and I don't want to name any names, all right, this is something that I've seen from multiple different people that I follow and that I've seen, is that people are like, oh, you know, the fans just keep getting mistreated in this community, and it really sucks that we've, you know, had so much miscommunication and we can't see any news and all that, and I just don't entirely agree, and there's a difference between, um, well, well, we'll get to that, but basically, the message I want to get across here, at least in my opinion, all right, and I invite you to leave your own down below, is that personally, I feel like this year has been astronomically incredible for the Division franchise. Because, let, just put it like this. You know, you can say that you're disappointed that they canceled Stay of the Game, that we haven't gotten uh, a lot of official... I mean, you can't even say we haven't gotten official news because we have, but we haven't gotten uh, trailers or more announcements on what the actual features of some of these games and projects are going to be. We haven't gotten... Obviously, they're not going to be at E3 now. So you can be upset about those things, but at the end of the day, I want to remind everyone that we are in fact pretty lucky that we are in the position that we're at. And by that, what I mean is that that announcement that came out earlier in May about how The Division is now expanding into an entire universe with more, a lot more games and a lot more projects than just the main franchise, uh, you know, Division 1 and 2, uh, that, that was big. And that's not something that I think we can take very lightly. Like, it's pretty rare to see a publisher double down, triple down, on a franchise like they just did for the division. Now, sure, the you could say that the um, lack of 
tangibility award. The, the, the fact that we haven't seen these things a ton in the public yet, it, sure, you could say that's a little bit concerning. But for Ubisoft to come out and, and say, hey, we made the Division 2, the Division 1, the Division 2, Warlords of New York. We were pleased with how that turned out. So now we're going forward. We're going to make the Division Heartland, the Division Mobile. We're making a movie, a novel. They just recently announced an audiobook. We have this new Battle Cat leak. Like, there's a lot of stuff. And that it's not very often that a franchise is going to get that kind of treatment. And so, you know, a few months ago, me and a lot of other people, I would say the majority of the community, were convinced that things were kind of winding down. They had said that um, 2.12 was meant to be the last update. And now they're like, oh, you know, now we'll, we'll make a, a small team and Division 2 will get more content. But even after that, I was kind of like, wow, well, that went downhill pretty fast because... When Division 2 came out, you know, there was a lot of energy behind that, a lot of development power, and slowly but surely, things just kept being stripped away from that until it was kind of down to the bare bones, you know, after Warlords came out. And so when they announced Star Wars, and then they announced kind of the Division 2's lack of content for a while, I was just like, man, well, I guess we're waiting until the Division 3 for a few years, and that was kind of it. I was kind of ready to give up on it. But then Ubisoft comes out early May, swinging hard, saying we are bringing now all of these new things to the franchise and we are doubling down on a commitment to making a Division universe. And so I I just feel like people who have kind of forgotten about that and just been like, oh yeah, that was in the books the whole time. Like it was not. The, the sentiment around the community back in January, February, March, when there was just nothing happening was pretty gloomy. And so this is a million steps up from that. And I, I'm more excited now for the future of the Division than I probably have been I can't really say since uh, Division 1 because I was pretty darn excited for Division 2, but this is the most excited I've been for this franchise since then, and we haven't even seen a lot of these things that they're teasing because I know this just means that the future for the Division is very bright. And so, yes, I am disappointed, and it sucks that these things will not be D3. We all really want to see them. I understand that. But you can't then go and say, oh, they mistreat us so badly, and it just everything sucks because it really doesn't. To have this much stuff coming, it's really, you know... I don't know. I, I just think we are very fortunate to be in this position. If you were a fan of The Division, there was a lot of exciting stuff coming. And in six months' time, eight months' time, when we have three or more active Division titles on the market, um, you know, it's really not going to matter whether or not they were shown at E3 or not. Because they're coming. As far as we know, nothing's been canceled. Nothing's been changed. These things are still coming. They're just not ready to show us that yet. And that's okay, at least in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on all that down below. Now, the only main clarifying point I wanted to make here was that there's a big difference between what I just described and the uh, Ubisoft PR ordeal that I've talked about many times on this channel. I still believe that Ubisoft PR handles the Division news and, well, I can't speak for a lot of their other games because I don't follow them nearly as closely, but they usually handle news for the Division very poorly. They heavily, back when Stay of the Game was on, they heavily constricted the stuff that Massive could talk about, even if it was minor details about upcoming patches and whatnot. They always held things off for super long, waited for these, like, quote-unquote big reveals that didn't end up being that big. That was always kind of sucky. I assume that it's still going to happen once these new projects kind of roll out. But there's a difference between that and these... these um studio saying we're not ready to show you what we're working on we're not confident enough in the product yet to show you a full representation there's a big difference there and a lot of the devs that work at these studios on twitter said exactly that you know we're excited to show you what's coming but we don't feel like in good faith we can show you that just yet um because we're not fully confident in you know it representing the final product and so i just wanted to point that out because there is a big difference um <clears throat> and i hope that people can fully recognize that because i still truly believe that ubisoft pr handles a lot of the division news really poorly. Um, so hopefully we'll see a, a change in that when some of these new things roll out. I doubt it, but we'll see. Let's now circle back to the uh, other really big piece of news that came out over the past few days, which is the apparent leak of a new game, not on the division timeline from back in May, uh, titled The Division, or at least is associated with The Division, uh, Battle Cat, which is a really odd name. I, I refrain from saying dumb because I hope it's a code name. That that better not be the final name if this turns out to be true because I don't even know what Battle Cat associates with the, the context of this game. But basically, if you didn't hear the story, I'm not going to fully go into it just because it's a bit uh, leak and spoilery territory. But uh, basically, there was a some screenshots that were posted on Twitter by a user who did not share their source, did not share a lot of information or context that basically just outlined that there apparently 
is a crossover game that Ubisoft is making titled The Division Battle Cap, but it includes uh, both enemy factions from The Division, the Cleaners and the Outcasts, as well as the Wolves from Go- the Ghost Recon franchise and the Echelon faction, I believe, from Splinter Cell. I'm not a, very knowledgeable on Splinter Cell at all, but I think that's what they're called. And basically, it appears and it sounds like it is a uh, hero shooter game, which is basically Overwatch, if you're unaware, um, featuring those different factions and heroes within them, and they kind of serve as different classes. So that's something for sure. Um, if it is, I, it's it's a very strange thing, right? Because this is like, I've seen a lot of arguments on Twitter about how the, if this is true, this kind of um, ruins the immersion, I guess, or the, the purity of these different IPs. I don't necessarily share that view just because I don't have a big attachment to things like Ghost Recon or Splinter Cell. So maybe if I did, I would feel differently about it. But as someone who enjoys PvP, as someone who has played a lot of Overwatch and enjoys those types of games, if there's turn, if this uh, turns out to be true, I'm excited for it. You know, I, it is certainly, I hope it would not be uh, canon, I guess, or in line with the kind of other Division games because something like that obviously doesn't doesn't correlate to the the story events in any of the division games thus far but as just a side thing that they want to tack on the division name for and use the cleaners and the outcasts i mean go for it i would probably if this is true the way that these leaks were describing some of the ultimates and the abilities and the classes like that sounds fun i could easily see myself putting a lot of time into this game especially since it's tied to the division that would be just a fun thing to cover on the channel a really fun thing to spend my time playing um and so yeah i mean if the Division Battle Cat, again, really weird name, does turn out to be true. I personally am excited for it. I know a lot of people online were not excited about it when that news broke. Um, and so certainly let me know down below what you're thinking currently, if you've already known about this, what you're thinking about the Battle Cat leaks. If you are excited, if it's true, I'm very curious on that. But also regarding that, I did, uh, I can't really say too much about this, but I did catch wind a little while ago that there was more Division stuff in the works than what they had just put on that Division timeline, which again, just to to uh, bring everyone back up to speed, if you've forgotten, when they did that Division Universe announcement in May, they said that uh, upcoming, before now, the soonest thing was Heartland, then the Division 2's new content, then the Division mobile game. Then I believe the novel was next that they talked about. And then the Division uh, Netflix film that uh, Ross and Marshall Thurber is directing on Netflix. So that was what they put on that timeline. But I caught wind that there were more things in the works than just what they had announced there. Maybe things that they weren't sure or they weren't still 100% on yet. Uh, But this could certainly be one of those things. And it's not official until it's official. But I think that's the time to make it official if these leaks are coming out, you know, when they are, is uh, E3 and Ubisoft Forward this Saturday. So to circle back to what I was saying at the very beginning, how, you know, apparently, or if you were to take the the word straight on of the Division Twitter account, there won't be any Division news at E3. I'm questioning whether or not that's going to hold true for two reasons. One, would they really say, oh, there's no news for these uh, two projects that you know about, but hey, there might be another project like that. They probably wouldn't wouldn't give it away like that. They'd want it to be a big surprise, right? But secondly, they might not, even if it has a division name, you know, like the division Battle Cat instead of just being Battle Cat, um, they might not necessarily associate that with the division brand, Do you know what I mean? Like if it's a crossover game like this and it's not going to necessarily fall in line with the the core Division franchise and IP, then they might consider it a separate entity in that sense. And so they might not even have, uh, they might not even necessarily be considering that when they put out a post saying we're not going to be at E3. So I I think it's still possible that this could show up at E3. I certainly, if it's true, I hope it does. I want to see it. I want to know more information about it when it's coming out, all that kind of stuff. But I did say at the end of my last video... Uh, almost two weeks ago, that for this event, you should expect the unexpected. And this is exactly the type of stuff that I was talking about. So I think that even though things seem a little bit, you know, dreary, that they they have apparently said that there is no division news coming at E3 at Ubisoft Forward, something like this could definitely still show up. And maybe there's even other surprises we still don't know about. So I think if you're a division or Ubisoft fan in general, you should still watch it. It's only an hour long. It's at 12 p.m. uh, this coming Saturday, the 12th. So certainly just give it a watch. There's going to be some fun stuff. And I think there is still a good chance that we could see some division related stuff, even if it's not 
the two no pro- two known projects that we know about that are coming for this year, I think there's a good chance that we could see some surprises still crop up there. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and be sure to subscribe with notifications on to be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts about all the topics I covered today. What do you think about the uh, announcement that there's going to be apparently no division news at E3? What do you think about the kind of uh, debate that's going on online about the kind of treatment of the community in the light of that E3 news. What do you think about this apparent division battle cat leak? Is it a game you'd be excited for? Do you agree with me that the name is kind of stupid? Uh, What do you think about that? All that kind of stuff. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I am very glad to be back and I uh, really hope that you can forgive me for my lack of uploads lately, but I certainly hope to return in full force now and I'm really excited to do so. So I really hope you will come along on the journey with me. Thanks again, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Actually, last note, tomorrow, Thursday, I'm going to be doing my Battlefield 6 reveal impressions. That is happening the day I am releasing this video, but it will be coming out tomorrow on Thursday. So keep an eye out for that. I really hope you will tune in because I'm very excited for that game. And uh, so if you are too, you should definitely come and see what I have to say about it. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.